If I had known these five things when I started retouching, I would have leveled up my retouching game a lot faster. And because I love you guys, I'm going to share these five things with you right now. Number one, smooth skin. I wish I knew smooth skin doesn't necessarily mean your image is good or your image is well retouched. What I mean is that sometimes we focus more on trying to get the skin looking smooth. And the end of the day, the image is going to be too smooth or over smooth. Or we're just going to lose a lot of details on the image. The funny thing is that when I was doing that, that image looked perfect to me at that particular moment. But right now, looking back at those images right now, I feel the image are looking so, so terrible. Number two is creating action. Creating action is something I wish I knew when I started retouching because it would have saved me a lot of time and I would have a lot of clients and retouched a lot of image. And not just that, creating action actually makes my workflow easy. Imagine you want to do focal separation. You know how many steps it takes to actually create focal separation. Like, it's so much. Before you create two new layers, separate the texture from the color, add Gaussian blur, go to apply image. Like, this, this process for creating focal separation action, for example, is just too much. So doing that from scratch will approximately take 4 to 5 minutes. So imagine you are doing that for 10 images. You are going to spend hours just by creating focus separation action. So just imagine back then if I had know how to create focus separation action. Imagine the amount of time I would have saved instead of starting from scratch. So I really wish I knew how to create actions. Not just focus separation action. Any action at all in Photoshop. And I have a free actions. Actually I have 10 free actions which I'm giving up for free. You can download your actions. I'll believe really quick. You can download that action in the description below. And number three is patience. I wish I actually take my time to retouch my images when I was starting out. I would have had a better result. What I usually do is that I just try as much as possible to retouch my image as fast as I can. And in that process, I lose some details. Sometimes I will forget to do my eyes and teeth. Sometimes I forget to do a global dodge and bond. Sometimes I forget to even collaborate the image because I just want to put the image out there as quickly as possible. So I forget some important details that actually makes the image look good. So I really wish I had patience when I started retouching. So patience is very important. If I retouch out there, just try as much as possible to be patient when you touch your image. No matter how long it takes, just share your best and do your best for the image before putting it out there. It goes a long way. And number four is using micro dodge and bond. Now, micro dodge and bond is something I avoided for the longest time. Like, I avoided using micro dodge and bond to touch my image. Because I can just fix it with focus separation. That's why I avoided micro dodge and bond. So by the way, let me know which one you prefer. Do you prefer to use focus separation or micro dodge and bond? For me, I prefer to use both methods to actually retouch my image because it works for me. Now, ever since I stopped avoiding micro dodge and bond, I've actually seen a significant difference in my image when actually retouching my image when I use micro dodge and bond and focus separation to retouch my image compared to the past where I just use only focus separation to retouch my image. So, don't avoid micro dodge and bond. Embrace it and try and use it. And number five is color grading presets. Just like creating action, creating a color grading preset can actually save you a lot of time. And not just that, give your image a significant or a specific look. Now for me, I spent a lot of time trying to get the right color grading for my image and after spending hours there, I still sometimes come up with rubbish. So sometimes when you just have a good color grading, the best thing is to save your color grading process so that you can actually apply it to other images in the future unless you are touching similar image from similar shoots. And what you can do, you can just save that color grading preset and just apply it for the same similar image instead of starting all over from scratch and color grading individual image from scratch. By doing that, you are going to save a significant amount of time instead of just doing everything from scratch for the same image. For about 4 months now, I'll be using Camaro to color grade my images and I've saved all the presets which I use inside my Camaro. So if I just show you my Camaro right now, you're going to see all my saved presets instead of Camaro. And the reason why I'm saving it is that in case I have similar images in the future, I can just bring it and just apply those presets to it. And not just Camaro presets, you can actually save presets inside of Photoshop or color grading presets with Photoshop. Now, because you've watched this video to this point, I'm going to give you a bonus. Now, I wish I knew adding sharpness to all my image actually do more harm than good. Let me explain. When I started retouching, I used to add sharpness to all my image, although I tried to reduce the opacity. But the sharpness is going to be very, very visible and I'm going to think, okay, because this image is sharp, the image is good. Because I added sharpness, maybe the image is good. But looking back to those image right now, I wish I never even added sharpness to the image because the image on its own is already sharp. So adding sharpness on the image actually damaged the image instead of making it look good. So be careful when you want to add sharpness to your image. Rather, add sharpness to a specific part of the image you feel need sharpness. Or if you want to add sharpness to your image, 
make sure you take the opacity a lot down like maybe 15 percent opacity or 10 percent opacity just to add a little bit of punch to the image don't just make the sharpness obvious with that being said if you want to learn how to retouch click on this playlist right here i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative